Hey, hey, Spiral Gang, to turn back with a heck of a Spiral gameplay video for you, as you can tell by the length of it. I took part in Week 9 of MBT Yu-Gi-Oh's Master Circuit Series. I live recorded my whole run through the tournament for your entertainment and maybe some education in there. And it's going to include all my best plays and some not-so-spectacular games in between. Uh, this is the deck I took, which might be familiar to you if you've seen Saints Spiral Award on Combo video. I'm going to link a, that video in the description if you want like the basic breakdown of the two-card combos that get you to your inboards. But you're going to going to see a lot of me actually piloting it in the wild here. Uh, that's it for the long-winded intro. This video is already going to be plenty long enough as it is, so let's get on to the games. Uh, well, this is a little embarrassing. Uh, this is round one. I had my room set up and everything, and my opponent uh, did not show up. Maybe they slept in, or maybe they're going to drop later. I don't know, but uh, round one, I happened to win because uh, my opponent w uh, didn't make it in time for the round. So uh, on to round two, I guess. A uh, little anticlimactic, but hey, I'll take a 1-0. Well, let's get going. All right, so here we are in round two. Throw the uh, psych to duel with you at my opponent and get going. All right, lost the coin flip. We'll see if we can squeeze a win out going second. Presumably, yeah, they're making me go second. Not a lot of uh, going second blind decks you expect to see in a tournament. Uh, this hand is combo, though. It depends on what my opponent's doing, if it actually matters. It's got some extension, too, with Nessie and Jet Synchron, so, you know. Reasoning. Okay, so I'm in the abstract, I would guess like it's runic with reasoning maybe, and two would be the number for stopping Cyberstein, but four is like the more traditionally useful number. It's also like Ishizu would probably pull this crap, so I'm going to go with four. Hopefully I don't get burned. Okay, they're going to summon Cyberstein on me. Oh, Cyber Valley. Okay, that's way easier. <laughs> I was never guessing one, so can't complain too much about that. So it's just runic. I mean, Rook's really tough going second against them, so we'll see how that goes, too. Chicken game. Ooh, okay, well, I mean, that's not going to be relevant, because they're going to find a Runic card, Runic Fountain, and clear the chicken game. It's just a draw card for them. Just playing, like, a draw-heavy variant with Cyber Valleys and stuff. You don't get to see this card a lot. It used to be way, way, way back when it was a pretty standard. Okay, so now that I know they're Runic... I'm going to, and I don't care about them having Cyber Valley. I'm going to call two because I'm really worried about Cyberstein more than anything. I don't really care about anything else in their deck. Like, they can have as many Cyber Valleys as they want. I don't care. I can beat this deck if I can resolve my stuff going second. Uh, I don't really need the battle phase. Once I've resolved my stuff, I win with Sleeper. Yeah, they can have as many Cyber Valleys as they want. I do not care. I guess this does draw them a card, right? You can target one face of monster you control and this card, banish those, draw two cards. Maybe I should have called one out of the fear of them drawing two cards. But, I don't know, like... <laughs> oh yeah, they already had the fountain, so I just need, they just needed any other runic card, so none of this stuff really matters. Yeah, see, that none of this actually mattered. Well, maybe it will, because if this last card isn't a runic card, they won't get a draw off runic fountain, maybe? Who knows? I need to force through effects that can beat Runic Fountain without losing my master plan in the process. Kind of hard with the uh, Hugot on the field. So now they get to draw three. They're going to have five cards in hand when this is all said and done, and they're going to be able to draw three more on my turn with Fountain, so we'll see. Alright, yeah, so here's the draw two. Oh, they're gonna have six cards in hand, actually. Yeah, might as well do that if you have if you have runic cards in hand, might as well banish the Hugo and it's not gonna matter. This guy's this is an Exodia deck? <laughs> this guy's draw you got a lot of draw ones in here. Chicken game, upstart goblins. I guess it doesn't matter when you're playing runic, right? You just you you can always recycle pretty easily. You don't really worry about decking out. Alright, tip, sure. 
Probably gonna go into the second fountain or something. Yep, there it is. Okay. Uh, banish. I would have loved to draw that resort off the top. Ooh, that's rough. That would have been the perfect sixth card, honestly. It's into Runic. Man, I could, like, force all of their stuff and then drop a resort once they've... Uh, well, I guess maybe resort's never that good because I don't have other cards to bait their spell trap destruction, so resort was always going to be dead. So I'd rather that card be dead in their hand. But like, it protects big red, so that's... It's neither here nor there, really. You'd probably still want resort. I think I draw two cards again with Cyber Valley. Not on once per turn. Draw three... I mean, if they're like, this isn't, this doesn't really work like an Exodia thing because it always shuffles back the cards you're drawing. So like, it's, I guess it still digs cards, but he's going through everything with these. Uh, he's gonna Gary to resolve Ring Fountain again. Like, is it, if this is an Exodia FTK, I'm fairly impressed, and if, uh, maybe I should have realized that and called one off the second reasoning. So now we can Fountain again. I mean, he's got a million cards in hand, right? Like, yeah, draw two. He can, he can still normal summon a Cyber Valley and do it again. Oh, he's doing this one. Okay, he's doing one day of peace. So he's going to get one day of peace so I can't attack next turn? Okay, that's fine. I just need to clear stuff like I would normally want to. Yeah. Gets the one day of peace by, you know, just drawing it or reasoning milling it. Uh, losing super agents is really rough. That's a that's another card that, like, gives me an out to Runic Fountain on my turn. Like, if I had hard drawn that, I could just call spell and pop this or force a force a, um... A Hugin effect. Now, if Gary's still in the field, if he doesn't draw his third Cyber Valley, I assume he's got to at this point, right? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't care about that. <laughs> Drawing Gamma's pretty funny if he does another monster effect. So yeah, no combat phase for me this next turn. So at this point, I'm just trying to clear Runic Fountain and, and still win, basically. Sets three. Is he, just, is he on a stun strategy and he still has all those draw cards? We'll see, I guess. Uh, I don't think that's bad if they let me resolve Magician Soul's drawing effect before destroying it. Regardless, it gives me more cards to discard. So my, my goal here is to get to Sleeper Last Resort. This, he's going to search the one that pops a... a uh, Monster, presumably, so I don't ever get to resolve my Magician Souls on field effect. Yeah, your, uh, your opponent... Oh. Draws one card, then banishes the top. Okay, that doesn't... I mean, it banishes cards, so we'll see. They were just setting runic cards because they didn't want to discard them, obviously. Okay, so there's their special summon destruction, which isn't that big a deal for me. I mean, I'd love to get these rescue missions in the graveyard. Uh, anything important banished? Nothing yet besides the super agent. So that's like one answer gone. Now I need to deal with the spell trap destruction and the effect negation. I'm gonna draw me a card. I'm just hoping they don't banish Sleeper and Last Resort. They banish Last Resort. Okay, I, I'm running a 60 card deck, so normally this kind of bullshit is not good against me. But this guy is hitting everything. Well, I got dangers. So I just have to have Sleeper under Spire Resort and have other monsters on the field to pop. D losing Last Resort there is actually crippling, though. Oh, yeah, he gets to dispelling me. Okay, Gamma, sure. Losing Dragon Ravine is not a big deal. Losing Last Resort and Super Agent are the big deals for me. That that's pretty miserable. Okay, now I just I just combo at this point and try to see where it takes me. I 
A quick fix can probably force the effect negation. He is going to be my normal summon no matter what I do, so we'll do this. Okay, so here we go. So yeah, I don't care if Quick Fix is negated, really. I can get to him again with Rescue Mission here. I do care if he banishes my Sleeper at this point. That's really what I'm worried about here. Alright, so now I can... He's got the Gary on field, so he can't really... I can, like... I can just go straight into Nightmare Phoenix here. Uh, discarding a rescue mission. Because he can't Hugin me. That's like this is an Imperm or something. Okay, well that's good. Uh, does he have any more responses? I'm gonna I'm gonna Nessie see if I can discard either this rescue mission or this jet sinker on here. He's got something. Is, this, is he gonna run called by the grave in this variant of the deck? I've drawn all of my rescue missions. That's awkward. Uh, I can discard a rescue mission off like a unicorn here. So, like, my goal here actually is probably just to get to the secret village, and then they can't play spells, and then I win. That's gotta be it, right? Like, if I can resolve Ancient Fairy Dragon, they just lose this game. Because they haven't banished my. They haven't really banished my secret village yet, so. That should just be the goal. I should just turbo to Curious Distrito. Aha! There we go. So they are playing Call by the Grave. I'm glad I played around that by getting the second rescue in the graveyard. So now I can chain rescue on Master Plan. They might have drawn both Call by the Graves at this point, so I would like to play around that if I can. I can do that with Jet Sinker on here. And then we can rescue Quick Fix. Sudden Quick Fix. They'll give me Big Red. I need to I need to save that last rescue at some point if I can because I need to keep this master plan on the field. So now I just need to like make um ancient fairy dragon here. I'd like to remove this card, but I I, I could access code talker I guess, and then I could use access code talker just to make uh, curious. Right, that's perfectly reasonable. Let's do this first, right? Like. This is all correct at this point. So we'll add Sleeper here. Aspire Resort, so this is like gonna protect stuff from targeting in case it does come up. Quick fix, discard. Summon, get drone, drone stack. Just do the regular stuff. Let me make sure. I got 16 minutes, it shouldn't. 
I need to, I need to play quickly because there is time in the round. And if my opponent stalls me, I should, I should need to get to Ancient Fairy Dragon. That's what I need to do here. So I'm going to do that as quickly as possible and summon Master Plan and win this game. Now you can draw a chicken game. I don't just summon Master Plan here because I don't. I can get another Quick Fix activation? Yeah. I just want a uh, Dark Monster. I can get the other Quick Fix off of this Spire Resort and then discard him and just have that fodder for later. Uh, none of this matters, right? Yeah, we'll just do it this way. Oh, they're both fiends, so it doesn't matter. Um, I messed up. Uh, so we will have to make a Borg blocker here, which is fine. Don't care about that. A little curious. So we'll send a Strudo. Um, ah, I lost my other big red, which is actually a pain in the ass here. So we'll quick fix this card, quick fix. Summon quick fix. Distrudo. We're going to Big Red on Mash Plan just to be cautious here. That'll give him my Spellcaster, and then I can Ancient Fairy Dragon. Secret Village. Activate Secret Village. Oh, can I summon Sleeper? I got Spire Resorts in the graveyard. Yeah, we're good. One, two. And I don't need another Master Plan at this point. Well, that just to be safe. Maybe they're in Lava Golem. Uh, this card is special. Uh, the, the, when this card is destroyed by battle, so I can I need to get rid of it, I guess. So we will pop this uh, big red and pop this and pop this. Oh, I can't destroy that. That's funny. Uh, if that's the case, then I need to make an Appaloosa so I can negate its effect in battle. Like, this thing can crash. You can target a card in the field and destroy it. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta protect uh, the master plan set up. Alright. Oh! Wasn't under one day of peace? Well, it doesn't matter. I should have attacked the Babalusa. Oh, I can't do damage. Okay, so that was actually kind of silly of me, but here we are.
Okay, yeah, that doesn't do anything. As long as they don't have traps, this does not matter. I was under one day of peace, so all that was against Larry, but I did need to make Apollos to play around Gary. Not even gonna bother with Sleeper because I don't think they do anything. I know, I know they have a chicken game too, so, you know. I can add a, a drone to hand and normal summon it and pump my sleeper, which is very funny. Uh, you can have slumber, I guess. It's like the worst one. It doesn't look like they got anything. Alright, there we go. So I misplayed a little bit there, but as long as I got to the Appaloosa master plan to play around the Gary, we were good. Alright, well that was a pretty torturous round two because of, you know, weird runic deck, but here we go. Uh, glad, it wasn't Floodgates, though, so I'm glad I got to play against that version. All right, well, let's get on to a round three after this, I suppose. All right, so we are in round three. Throw the uh, I'm Psyched to Duel with you at my opponent, and get on with it. See if I can uh, win another one. 2-0 ain't so bad, though. I did only have to win one game against... Wasn't It was like just pure runic, not even stun runic, just straight up runic, and then uh, a buy, basically. <laughs> Okay, I'll start the game. There we go. Ooh, already diamond one. They've been grinding. All right, I want this coin flip. That's a good start. Let's see if I can uh, convert that into a win. Set up in my chair real quick. Take this seriously. Uh, this is combo. One for one's more important than jackalope. Or then, um, Magician Soul, so I will prep rights here. Adding Illusion of Chaos. And I will Illusion of Chaos, see if they let that resolve. Alright, I'll add Souls. I will put back this Grenade, because I want monsters to, like, one for one with. Though, I guess, I can always just one for one send Jet Synchron, and that can, I can still go into Curious like that. See, I guess I, the, the grenade's just better for a draw card, so I guess I'll put back... Hmm, this is actually interesting. Um, I guess, I, yeah, I'll put back Illusion of Chaos, and I'll one for one on Jet Sigrun after drawing a card off Souls, see if they let me get away with that. Yeah, it's a little weird with Jet Synchron in my hand, but I'm, I'm playing it safe. Interesting. Um, I guess I'm going to one for one here. They had something, but they didn't... I think they have an Ash Blossom, right? So if I one for one send this Jet Synchron... I can even normal summon the souls if I need to. But they have like a, they saved Ash for this point. Okay, yeah. If that's their only interaction, then what I can do is I can basically get like Sleeper Apo plus Jet Sinker can get me to something. We'll see. So I can I have to like normal summon. I I could risk the Jackalope drawing me a card. My worst case scenario is I don't get the Jet Synchron interaction at the end of the combo later. So I guess I'd rather. Do this. So we're gonna summon, make Link Kribo. This is a little funky, but you know, here we are. This is what you gotta do sometimes. There's an argument for like risking the jackalope, but like there's so many bad draws there. Like this is guaranteed. I'd rather do guaranteed than. 
Now be curious. I have used my normal summon, so I have to master plan. I still get to do most of the Aurorodon stuff. I just have to have Super Agent on the field at the end. It depends on what this if this curious mills anything untoward too. I'm not gonna be able to get to um Secret Village, which is a problem, but Oh I milled Destrudo, wow that's really good. So that gets me to the Secret Village. Sick. So the master plan. Well I, I'm low on cards in hand, that's gonna be a problem, so I'm gonna have to like do some funky stuff here, but we'll see, we'll see. So we'll go into assault mission. Do this. With Jet Sigurd in the graveyard, I would like to uh, leave Super Agent on field for the Braver setup. I also have to like, leave an extra level 1 on the field, which is a, not fun. Can I, oh, I don't even think I can get to Super Agent, or I have to skip Sleeper if I do, right? It's kind of funny. It's probably fine. I'd rather do the braver stuff than the. We can get big red here. Oh, I have to use super agent. Okay, yeah. So I have to use super agent because I can't get to drone. So I do have to skip. I don't really have to skip sleeper, do I? I can just. I can do things slightly differently here. Rescue mission. So I have to call like monster here. It's Exo Sister, okay. So I can uh, get the sleeper. I think I just Sleeper plus Braver, and I actually skip the spell stuff. Because, like, I'm not going to have enough material. If I skip Sleeper here, I can get to Braver plus Ancient Fairy Dragon plus Appaloosa and all that jazz, which is probably better. This deck just can't beat Sleeper Pass, though, can it? I don't think so. So we're just going to go... Sleeper plus Aurorodon and leave Super Agent on the field. Can I do that? I won't have enough zi I won't have enough... Yeah, we're going to skip... Yeah, we're just going to do the Aurorodon stuff because I'd rather get the, the hand rip for like Lava Golem shenanigans here. I'm actually going to skip Destrudo too. A little awkward, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I can rescue Master Plan, add rescue here, and then make Appaloosa still. Uh, yeah, it's awkward, but I have to like. No, I can't because we'll do that later. But I gotta do Aurora now. Well, I can't right because this freaking double helix is getting in the way. I have to like use Destrudo? Okay, yeah, I have to use Destrudo to make a Appaloosa here. To get my rescue mission, because I need a discard for Jet Synchron. I don't want to discard my freaking last resort, my sleeper, that seems silly. Destrudo. It'll be a three, that won't do anything. It'll be a six, that won't do anything. So I'm just, yeah. We're just doing this to get material to make Appaloosa. I value the Appaloosa Aurorodon play more than I value the... Uh, I, I value Braver Dragon and Herald more than I value the Spell Negate. Just basically what I'm saying here against uh, Exo Sister. Got the three zones I need. I 
Kind of a funky combat we got there. We make we have to make a Excel. Uh, I can actually just make Braver, and then I can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to use like the super agent, but then I'll still have the token. Oh, no, no concede. Okay, that's game. <laughs> Fair enough. It was a little awkward there, but we got there. All right. Well, there's round three. Won the coin flip. Exo Sister probably would have won if they beat me on the coin flip. That's just a straight up coin flip matchup because they're an anti graveyard deck. But you know, that's what you win the coin flip for sometimes. Oh, yeah. So uh, get on to round four. You do the uh, thanks for the duel. All right. Here we are in round four. It's triple keys. Oh, I forgot to give them the I'm psyched to duel you. Oh well. Alright, lost this coin flip, so I'm two I'm one and two at this point on coin flips. See how this goes. Go in second, as you might expect. This hand's double illusion of so d double magician souls, double quick fix. Oh, dinosaurs are a little rough though. They can like put my quick fix face down or some crap. Depends on like what kind of dinosaur variant they're on. If like they're on the Dinomorphia stuff, I, I can play under Rexstrom sometimes because my relevant monster effects can trigger under uh, their life point threshold sometimes, but. I mean, just regular Dino is pretty strong. They can misc their they can misc their guys, and this card's insane. During the main phase, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. During the mis during this main phase, dinosaur monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Ooh. Unaffected. Anyhow. So yeah. yeah the Lost World. I need to read this card again. It's been a while. So all monsters lose 500 except dinosaurs, special summon a token. While your opponent controls the token, they cannot target monsters on the field with card effects except the tokens. They're going to eventually pop this, I believe, just to deprive me of materials. Otherwise, I get a free Link Karibo out of it, which is funny. But, uh, so the, the, the big worries here are, like, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, obviously. Uh, they're going to end up with, uh, Loggy or whatever, and Dolka, which are, like, two negates or, or solemn style effects, like, summon negates, too. So, like, I, I, I'm generally expecting, like, two to three negates plus UCT and they can oftentimes set up a like a, a pop on a dra on pop on a dinosaur to summon Pankratops from deck so it's like often two plus negates field wide book of moon so you need like, you need to get the link monsters quickly to play around that and uh, and a uh, and a targeted pop uh, also they can like if they want to, if they know what you're on, they can make any kind of four or two. So something like Abyss Dweller is not out of the question. So if this guy knows who I am, which has happened before in tournaments, and they run Abyss Dweller in that extra, ugh, that'll really get me. I think this guy had everything, right? He started with Misk. So he started with Lost World, Over After, Add Baby. Activate miss. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he had, he had over after Lost World Misk, which is basically all you really need. That should be full combo. At this point, it just seems it's just like what's his inboard gonna end on? Goes to the scrap stuff. Once per turn, if a normal monster on the field would be destroyed by battle card effect, you can destroy that many dinosaur monsters in your hand or deck instead. Insane card. It's the pop from deck to get pink. There we go. There's the boy. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. We'll see. I mean, droplets obviously is a game-winning card here. There's the extra normal, yep. So yeah, this is just draw droplets, basically. I 
Apolus is pretty good, obviously, because neither of these cards are actually Magician Souls, so uh, Apolus can stop Illusion of Chaos, and this card is just uh, Illusion of Chaos functionally in this deck. Okay, asshole. You know who I am. Good. So this is obviously very... I mean, maybe... I mean, this isn't a dinosaur, so what else are you going to use Scrap Chimera for? But, like, if this guy doesn't end on uh, on Loggy or Dolkar or whatever, then if he, like, turboed out a Bish Dweller against me, that's very silly. It just means he knows who I am, and he's going to Abyss Dweller me, obviously. So. I mean, Abyss Dweller's not bad in this format, because Ashizu is a thing... So maybe I should shouldn't be so you know skeptical about what's going on here, but yeah, you know. <laughs> not summoning uh, Doki or Agia is a uh, very unusual for dinosaurs. Oh, Borlid Savage, okay. So I would I really I, I would need to drop us for five here, which is not happening. I don't think. <laughs> uh, I'd have to like this token would have to be alive. I'd have to like link it off to Link Crebo and then drop it. And but they're not gonna they're just gonna do a Abyss Driller in my draw phase, so none of this is gonna matter. I drew all my spiral resorts, which is actually bad. That's very funny. He's gonna abyss dweller in draw phase. I mean, I guess it's not bad because abyss dweller means I can't resolve master plan in graveyard. So I, the, it's actually good to have this many spiral resorts. Let's go ahead and get to this immediately. Get that for material. And I'll activate Preparation of Rights. Add Illusion of Chaos. And I will Illusion of Chaos Effect. Add Souls. Go back Illusion of Chaos. I will activate Souls. See if they'll let me get away with this one. They summon it in a zone that won't be intrusive if they do decide to immediately, like, fire off a, um, a UCT here. I'm gonna pank it? Okay, that's fine. I'm guessing they, like, have a, another way to get pank onto the field, so they just want to get this out of the way fast. But yeah, so we're gonna activate Spire Resort. There's none of this is going to matter because I'm, I'm facing down this Appaloosa at this point. I need to, like, get monsters on the field. Ash? Okay, well, that makes it even harder. This guy put up one, two, three, four, five, six interactions. So, so I will resort again. Maybe I should open up with Remus there. The fact that I'm under a bitch trailer means like uh, the, my ability to play through all this stuff is way less effective. Um, I fire off Super Agent. That's not really doing anything here. If I quick fix, I'll just Appaloosa. But like, what else? What else am I doing, right? I'm gonna try this real quick. This guy is just not biting on Zappaloosa. I mean, I'm just dead. This guy won the coin flip, and <laughs> I would have crushed him with the coin flip win. He's going to crush me with the coin flip win. That's basically how Yu-Gi-Oh goes sometimes. The double APO is really what's going to stop me the most here, because, like, I could almost do some stuff, but I can't really. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit driller, too, because, like... I, I, there's like sometimes I could have plays where I can, I can link Kribo on my quick fix in response to UCT, but Appaloosa would stop that, but so does a Bush Driller, so I'm just really shit out of luck here. If I had one more card in hand, maybe like, I don't know, like he's going to negate whatever I did with that card in hand, right? So like, I do this. Like, I could, like, Super Agent and then Quick Fix, but I can't Quick Fix because I'm under Abyss Dweller, so it doesn't matter. It was, it was draw droplets or lose, basically. 
Jar Droplets, I could just leave the UCT on board, or the Pank, and I could play through that. I've got... I've got three Spiral Names in Graveyard, right? I could Sleeper. Sleeper, attack Appaloosa, but he just puts a face down then. Right, like, I could summon Sleeper, the, the, the trigger UCT, I could go to, like, Nightmare Phoenix to attack over the Appaloosa, then Sleeper. If I pop my Spirals right, I have no follow-up, and this guy's got everything. So I have to get Sleeper here. This just does nothing, but it's funny. Oh, he's just going to go ahead and go straight for this, huh? Well, now I can summon the Sleeper. They can Sleeper Pop Resort, clear these two. Then I can end my turn. And now Sleeper pops. So I don't, I, I need to clear this Mist Dweller so I can do something next turn, but. He's going to be able to get this guy in the graveyard regardless, so I don't care about, oh, I do care about that because now my Sleeper won't trigger in graveyard, but maybe that's fine. Man, I, I think I, so it depends on what his draw is, right? If his draw is something that does something, I really want Super Agent on the field because that's going to, basically if I trigger Sleeper now, I can pop these two. Uh, this once per turn, if I'm, yeah, I, I need to get rid of that. Because <sighs> what I want is to have Super Agent on the field and quick fix in the graveyard. So next turn I can discard whatever I draw, uh, get big red, big red combo. And I need Sleeper to pop himself and trigger in the graveyard to do that. Oh, no. I had to fire off Sleep. Okay. Well, uh, this resolves a new chain, so I just have to hold Sleeper. Yeah, I just have to hold it. Drew Fossil Dig off the top. Well, that's game. That is just game, isn't it? He's going to draw Misk. Miss is going to add whatever he wants because he's got plenty of di dra uh, dinos in the graveyard. Damn, dude. I almost won this game, too. That was a crazy... That was a really good series of plays, for I think, for me. But, like, the fact that he drew Misk means I can't... N nothing I did with Sleeper there was going to matter. But there was an argument that... Well, it's a quick effect, right? I can't ever play around Abyss Dweller. Yeah, I was overthinking that. None of this matters. And now I can't do anything because he's, he's on Misk. Yeah, so now he can just do whatever he wants, and I just lose. Damn, dude. This was so close. I obviously had to pop Boral Load and UCT. There wasn't a question there. I mean, maybe... Uh... It just, it just did not matter, right? None of this mattered? I was so close to winning that. I mean, that shows how crazy Spiral is that, like, one, he had an Ash Blossom on top of everything. Two, I broke his board still. And three, he had to top deck the best card in his deck, Miscellaneous Saurus, to, to stop me. 
because even Misk didn't actually, even like a top decking over Raptor didn't win here because I still had Sleeper to pop this crap. Oh man, this was rough. I should have, well, no. Saying I should have gone to Phoenix first doesn't mean anything because he just UCTs my Sleeper, right? I could like Phoenix go to battle, attack over uh, Appaloosa. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I was ever working. I was just one card short, really, and that was the Ash Blossom in hand. Because, like, if I had a Super Agent in rotation, things could have been different. Heck, if I just could have used my Slash Spy Resort to equip a Last Resort here, it might have been different. Like, does this guy have back row? I mean, he probably he plays Nightmare Phoenix in this deck. It's a Link deck. Yeah, so he would have he would have an out to that. But I would still have Spy Resort on the field? Ugh. Dude, just make access code talker. What are you doing? Well, I guess I could I could pop access code talker, but he's gonna make this guy then make the access code or something, because if this will protect his access code from my sleeper, because like obviously I could pop access code in the like meantime, like in the in the in between the access code talker effects. I need my prompts on to do that, but I don't think it's gonna matter here, obviously. Ah, right, well, this Jatrix is big enough to stop me, obviously. He's going to attack him with Link Rebo. I have to trigger Link Rebo. And I can't even use Link Rebo's graveyard effect because I'm under Abyss Dweller. Ugh. Oh, he's, got, he's got this guy, though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Sleeper doesn't even do anything here. This was very, very close to me winning. Now I can just destroy a monster in his deck with Lost World. I guess I should have triggered Sleeper earlier just to pop the Lost World, but yeah, this is, this game is very over. There's not like, with all these Spyro Resorts gone, <laughs> and him having Dolka on the field, this is so over. It's many different kinds of over. Ha! Nice draw, idiot. All right, so um, I flip summon quick fix. I uh, I guess I just make Nightmare Phoenix an attack. This can this can negate it when another monster's effect is activated. Yeah, I don't want to tribute. I don't even want to discard to pop this freaking. Uh, Lost World. Oh, I have to. Because uh, I can never attack over this card. That's funny. Uh, I, I guess I'd, I'd rather have the card in hand in case I draw a danger. This card is destroyed by the effect of a scrap card. I guess I'd pop that because the Wisp Brother doesn't do anything anymore. Maybe I have to, I have to, like, I don't know. I, like, I have to force this guy's act effect activation because my only live draws at this point are, like, my second quick fix to go into Big Red and combo. Or, like, dangers into that. The funny thing is, like, the Abyss Roller mattered so much here, and he... Who makes that, right? Who makes that in Dinosaur over Dolka and Lagia? It's crazy. Yeah, okay, that's game. All right, well, it was fun. Well, that's uh, my first loss, so we'll, uh, we'll uh, get to round five, I guess. All right, here we are in round five, three and one currently. Give him the old, I'm psyched to duel. We'll begin the duel. Oh, 
on this coin flip. So, you know, two and two on the day so far. Uh, this is combo. It's just a little awkward. I have to small world here. If they Ash, I have to Gamma. Uh, can Sleeper send anything? Okay, so here's the question. I have to Gamma because if I don't, I can... Mm, this is so awkward because I need this quick fix to resolve. So, I can't go from Sleeper to Souls, I don't believe, because I don't have anything with 1200 defense that can get to Souls. Can I go from Sleeper to Quick Fix? Because then I could still do... Uh, no, I, I just can't, right? Like, I just have nothing. I can go through I can go through my other Gamma to get to Souls. I just have to skip Sleeper. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, so I will Gamma. I just have to skip Sleeper, which sucks, but, you know, here we are. So you banish Sleeper, go through Gamma, and you get Souls. So yeah, we just won't have a uh, Sleeper on our inboard, which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. My opponent still has plays. Interesting. They max see me. Okay. <laughs> they have something here. They have Imperm, so I'm going to, I could keep this Droplets in hand, but I'm going to fire it off just to see if I can get lucky. If not, I'll just go into, um, so there's only two spells in rotation, so like if I can get another spell in rotation, I can Selene here. That'll do it. So I am not going to end on Sleeper, but I have this Dragon Ravine already, which is pretty funny. So go Rescue Mission. Then I can... I need a Discard Assault Mission with Quick Fix so I can Helix here. I'm, but I'm going to get Big Red anyhow, so it doesn't matter. Because, like, normally I use Selene to get the second ro rotation of things, but I've already got this Dragon Ravine in hand, so I can just discard mission with Dragon Ravine, rescue back master plan. Yeah, that's right. And then I can play my Spire Resort. Sleeper's obviously gone, so, you know... Use match plan to get super agent and a card. Okay, they can see that's game. <laughs> uh, I don't blame them. They're obviously dead. They hand loot themselves, and I still had most of my combo. So there we go. Well, we will. Uh, well, I was going to give them the thanks, but they 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 went ahead and quit really quickly. Thankfully, I'm recording these live, so I don't have to get the replays. Yeah. So uh, I will see you guys in the next round. <laughs> All right. So here we are in round six, four and one. Gonna give my opponent the I'm psyched to duel with you, and then we'll begin the duel. Name is Bro Let Me Cook? I hope not. Usually the goal is not to let my opponent cook. Lost this coin flip, so we're pretty much batting average, right? Like this is like my third coin flip loss in five coin flips, even though this is round six because my first round was a functionally a buy because my opponent didn't show up. In a best of one, the coin flip's super duper important, more so than usual. In this hand, don't do jack shit, so I'm I'm in trouble here. My opponent is on looks like 40, uh, 44 odd, but plenty of decks like want to squeeze in those extra slots for like hand traps and stuff. Swords all being one of them. 
So a lot of the times I can break a sword soul board, but not with this hand, I don't think. Like even if I open up droplets, I have to like small roll chain droplets, and then I could send, I could small roll away the Destrudo and send the drone, and then like quick fix normal summon big red, yeah. All right, they have the Tyus. So that's a functionally a pretty good starter. You know, not the best, obviously. You'd rather getting be getting value out of your Atara, but it gets them there. That's kind of what continues to. You know, in the worst case scenario is like this. It'll give you fuel for your Taya. You can get your long one and whatnot. And I can send. And with the Taya send, they could potentially Protoss me here. They're sending a water. Random Shathana. Interesting. This is... Yeah, it's like not really doing anything there. So if they already have the Protoss in hand, they can discard a worm and then Protoss me, and then I'm just dead. I'd have to like drone agent combo under Chi Shao. Barone, and that's just not going to work. And they sent an Earth. Nip. I wish, right? So my best draw at this point might be like a um, Pankratops or something. Droplets, obviously, still. Unless, unless they drop a Protoss on me, in which case I'm dead. I'm a Dark Monster deck. I need. Part, I can't really beat Protoss most of the time. Okay, they didn't do anything else. So it's just Barrow and Chi shall pass. So it really depends on what I draw, and that is a good draw. That was the Varun, I think. Oh, maybe they, they had something. So they had something before standby, and now this is the Barone in standby. So we're going to activate this Prep Rites here. Get Illusion of Chaos. Use Illusion of Chaos. Get Magician Souls. Now I'd rather, I think I'm going to send back, ugh, this is kind of rough because I'd like to draw a card off of the Spellcaster Village, but I want to use Small World on Illusion of Chaos if I can. Yeah, we're going to put back this. Got a small world here. Illusion of Chaos for Jackalope for Quick Fix. Uh, this is going to be to bait a uh, a Chi Shao Negate here. So we'll activate Magician Souls. And master plan. I hope they don't max me here. That'd make this a lot more frustrating. Wish I had a small a spa resort so I could like force Barone or get Chi out to the gate, but here we are. And I'm going to normal quick fix. That'll bait the Chi Shao for sure. If they have a hand trap, I'm probably going to lose here. Barone is fine. Because now I can use Big Red Master Plan. If the Chi Shao negate my master plan, that's also fine. I could just Curious or Selene at that point. Or both, depending on what the Souls draws me. I 
They're letting me get to a rescue mission, that's interesting. I will happily draw two cards if you let me. Alright, there's the negate, so... At this point, it's like, do they have an Ash Blossom in hand? Do I need to chain block my master plan? I can, like, rescue Quick Fix. Go for Helix. That's fine. Obviously. So at this point, what do I want to play around? Do they have any interactions is my question. So, I, I want to... I really want to chain block this master plan, right? And I've got the rescue mission... So I can put a rescue mission in Graveyard. My, okay, my problem here is I need to get to two spiral names on the field. I can do that via Rescue on Quick Fix Destrudo, Celine, Rescue Master Plan. Like make, you know, I can make multiple, I can make Celine and then get Master, Master Plan back. So I'm going to Rescue, Quick Fix here. I'm going to see if they have any more interactions here. Does not look like it, so we'll go ahead and get Last Resort. We'll go ahead and use Destrudo now. Um, then we'll make Selene, because I do have three spells in rotation. I can make H Fair Dragon, but that's superfluous at this point. But super aging because he's my extender in my worst case scenario here. He's a spire resort. Let me activate. I miss sorts all being the best, uh, the the most played deck in the format. Such easy wins when they weren't protossing me. And we'll get master plan effect. Let's get us to rescue, which is more important at this point because I'm. Like, I have the Super Agent, I don't really need to go ahead and get Sleeper as a backup, just in case they nib me here. Now, at this point, I just need to get to Axis Code Talker, and I need, like, Nightmare Unicorn away this guy so they can't Chathon me and all that jazz. Call Monster here. Spell card, that's fine. Call Spell. Not care about any of this. I'll summon the other quick fix. This will be my best way to get a bunch of material on the field. I can just go into like a link rebo to maintain material. Discard a rescue mission. Summon, discard, and then we can like a rescue mission master plan. Summon, discard rescue mission. This one I should really just play around nib, right? I should just make Appaloosa just to be careful here. Should have done that earlier, to be honest, but here we are. Let's grab this rescue mission. Summon quick fix. And at this point, I guess I'll rescue master plan so I can like draw a card off my unicorn. Why not? I'll turn these three into a unicorn. One, two, three.
shuffle you because I don't I don't want to worry about the Shathana thing. Draw a card. Make access code talker. Summon this boy. Getting rid of these cards I don't care about. Activate. Now I've got Drone Agent for next turn if I really wanted it. And a Big Red. I've got tons of follow-up. Should not matter. Uh, what's the best thing to play around? Uh, I've got Lethal even if they have... If they have, like... Uh, it doesn't matter what they have, right? Yeah, we'll just start going to town. Get rid of Selene. Pop Barone. Activate. Get rid of Unicorn. You're not doing anything anymore, buddy. Pop G Shell. And we'll attack for game. Attack with Appaloosa first just because I need to use her effect for some reason. Attack with Sleeper. And attack with. Or attack with Axe Code, then Sleeper. And there we go. So that is a. Uh, Another win, go going second against Sword Soul. They just made Baron Chu Shao Pass, didn't have a good hand, and uh, I had the uh, the appropriate amount of cards to beat him. So let's get on to the next round. All right, uh, second to last round, one loss. So I got a chance to get the top cut, throw an I'm Psyched to Duel with them at Momo Flora. Let's get started. On this coin flip, cannot complain. Now we just gotta dodge the hand traps and have a combo. Let's go. I think I have good odds to clear if I even go X2, so this win almost certainly does it. So I won that coin flip, and there's a connection issue. I will use this video to prove it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm typing in the thing. Oh, this is just the case with tournaments sometimes. I don't know the rules on this. Let me check. Hold on. Let me go to the thing. If, like... Because I won that coin flip. Uh, at the matchmaking... Uh, slow play, disconnections. One player... Did not receive the game win. This happens to stop cut. Proceed, blah, blah. I guess I have to go to the, the, the thing. Or let me contact them, see if they're okay with. Uh, I am recording this, so I can talk to Judge about it. Yeah, I mean, I... Coin flip. Let me uh, stop this recording right now so I can show them. Alright, so we're back, and uh, I will go first, because I did win the coin flip, and we will... Just kind of had to talk to my opponent, let them know what happened, had the video, no big deal. You know, don't want to waste too much more time in the round. Might get a time extension for this. I won this coin flip again anyhow, so it didn't matter. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. All right, so this is a combo. It's not the full combo, though. They have Maxi. I'm going to activate this, see what happens. This may be questionable because I could draw a card off of that, but if they have an Ash Blossom, I'd love to stop it here.
And I got something. It's almost certainly maxi, right? So I'll add Magician Souls. I think I'll put back Sleeper, because I'd rather not discard this off my dangers, because that's definitely going to be what's going to happen here. No maxi. Okay, so they got something else. I wonder what it is. It's like a droll or... Oh, they were playing around Gamma. That makes sense. They have something else here, too, so they have an Imperm. I think I just pass. I've got the other Illusion Chaos in hand, so I'm going to set this and pass and just hope they can't kill me. You know, they, they, are, they didn't draw a card because they played around Gamma, so I'm just going to like, all right, well, I'm under Maxi. Let's see what happens. Looks like they're having connection issues, so it might have been on their side. That's probably a bad start. What decks play Terraform? Flu, maybe Punk, Runic could if they're, you know. Oh, it's Rika. Okay, well, I'm probably just dead then. They can OTK me, right? Like, this is everything they want, right? They could just go straight for the extender. Oh, they already had it. <laughs> That's lets you tribute to do things. Yeah, that, I'm just dead. Maybe I, I, there's a there's an argument for comboing, but I'm pretty sure they have Imperm in hand, and my only guaranteed play there was a Curious off of the dangers. And if they have Imperm, then Curious doesn't do anything. I could, you know, I've tried to draw into like a quick fix and play even more, but I mean, if you're playing Maxi, there's a reasonable expectation that they're going to be on um, uh, more hand traps a lot of the time. Let's type to my opponent. I mean, X and 2 still have a chance to win because, I mean, this opponent obviously is one of my losses and they are going to be X and 1 going into the final round. And uh, my only loss was to someone who was also undefeated at the time. Like, it was round, I forget what round it was, I think it was round 4. I was 3 and 1, right? I was 3 0, then I went 3 1, so it was 4 rounds in. And eh, my tiebreaker is going to be mediocre, right? There's going to be other people who got to this point and went uh, undefeated, but then lost two games in the final two, and they're going to beat me out. I'm not sure how many of those people there are in the bracket, but we'll see. So the problem here is even if they don't kill me, which they will, uh, they are going to have like a bunch of interaction on the board, and like they can tribute my monsters, and they can negate my guys, they're going to have like the, there's, there's going to be at least one negate, a bounce, uh, a tribute, and they'll have like a trap, like this one, the target one face up, the, this this is one of the tributes, but like, they get the field tribute, and then they get that effect to tribute on an opponent's monster, right? Face a monster your opponent controls, also you can tribute one plant monster, players cannot, yeah, yeah, so, the tribute's one of my monsters, then the field spell tributes one of my monsters. So they have a double tribute, a negate, and a bounce, so I'd be in, I'd have terrible luck to actually survive. But I think I'm just dead. They could also Zeus me, which I couldn't beat a Zeus either. And I'm pretty sure they have Imperm in hand or an Effect Veiler, which will be really bad on my turn as well. So I get, I mean, obviously because I'm clearly dead on board here and they had enough to win with a five card hand, I should have gone for the combo and tried to play through it because it was a, but that's kind of like hindsight. You know, there's a decent chance my opponent was like on, oh, hello. Is that it? What? They, they have, they're going to have, they set another Brick of Clamor. They're going to have the Tribute guy. They, they're going to have the double Tribute. They didn't kill me. Wow, I'm surprised. There's Imper. Okay, they're going to have two sets, right? One's going to be, okay. So that's the Trap card, the Ricka Shift or whatever. <sighs> Great, thanks for the, thanks deck. What does this do? Uh, this doesn't do anything... This doesn't do anything. Okay, well. So 
So I had Magician Souls. At this point, I guess... I mean, I guess I put the Illusion of Chaos back just for information purposes, because, like, it's the same... I've got no more Magician Souls in deck, so that card's clearly dead. But, I mean, what else am I... Like, this driver, I can tribute tri summon if it matters. It, 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 can, it can possibly do something. Illusion of Chaos no longer can. This guy maxis me again. Ugh. So my problem here is they have the double tribute. So I need to draw a extender or like a revival effect, and I need to pop this field spell. This Carding Nessie is not ideal there, but it's not the end of the world. That could do it. Bad Tsuchinoko. I guess I just go straight for Nightmare. You Phoenix here? Get them to tribute my monster, and then I can link off with Quick Fix. I guess I'll keep Suchinoko in hand because it's better than Driver, clearly. This is the trap card that does something here. Yeah. This is you can't activate. But this is triggered, right? Oh, uh, I guess it is. I think I'm just dead to that, right? Actually, that's just a, like a... So I need to know how this card works. Cannot activate the effects of face-up monsters on the field, right? Target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Also, you contribute one plant monster. Players cannot activate the, that face-up monsters. Oh, that face-up monsters. I can still... I need attributed... Take control. Okay, so depends on what they're doing at this point now. What's this do? One rank five or higher Xyz monster. Oh, this is gonna kill me. Okay, that makes sense. This is a quick faking target one monster of the same. When you activate a card, uh, when you activate a card effect, you can target blah blah blah. During your opponent's turn, when a card effect is activated, you can detach one of the same type and negate that effect. To destroy that card, so this I cannot win here, right? They negate quick fix and destroy it. I don't have any more follow up plays because my Phoenix is on their side of the field. Um, maybe there wasn't. I, I need a quick fix to resolve, so like this is a you can detach one material of the same type. Yeah, if I, I wish I had like a spell card here. Uh, So I guess my only play here is Suchinoko, discard, but that doesn't do anything, right? Like, what, what's the card that I can draw that would do something here? Pank doesn't do it. I mean, Pank would clear the board. It would clear this, and I could, like, pop their field spell or some crap. That's literally it. That's my only out, but, like, so many, normal summoning quick fix doesn't do anything either. Like they have the they have the monster negate. This is a monster negate because they can detach a monster. Oh. Do I just win now? I mean, I guess I made the right call on the Suchinoko. Do they have any other effects? They have like an ash blossom here. Oh, okay, they had another... Oh, the Graveyard Negate. Yeah, I don't I don't know crap about Rikas. That's going to tribute my Quick Fix. That'll end the game. That's just... I mean, I'm just dead, right? 26, 19, 1,000. Yeah, it was maxi. I sure, come over here. Oh, okay, I mean, this doesn't matter. This is like the least mattering thing that ever mattered. Uh, yeah. They, they have lethal at this point. They ha I'm surprised I, I made it this far. I mean, that quick fix draw was obviously insane, but they had two negates for my two cards in hand, so it did not matter at that point. I didn't even, like, check their graveyard for stuff, because, like, I, it didn't matter. I had I couldn't play through one more interaction regardless, so that was my only chance. I guess I should, like, check that in the future, though, right? Uh, 
just for like learning purposes. Uh, Rick a princess in the graveyard during your main phase, blah blah blah. When your opponent activates a monster effect while you control a Rick a monster, yeah, okay, that 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 tracks. Oh yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and concede. I, I have no other draws in my deck at this point. All right, well there we go. I'm X and two. We'll see what happens. All right, here we're in the final round. I have to win this one to have any chance at making top cut. And even if I win, I might not make top cut. But we'll see how it goes. One the coin flip. Okay, can't complain about that. Let's see what happens. Uh, all right, this this is combo, and it can bait like an Ash Blossom. Please don't maxi me again. Not in the not in the final round. All right, so I'm gonna normal some quick fix, just a bait. I do have combo without it. So gonna let me get to big red. I'm going to set this, activate this, and then I'm going to activate Jackalope so I can draw a card, potentially. If it snipes, then I summon Tsuchinoko, and then I activate Nessies and stuff. That's an interesting draw. They have something here. Don't know what it is. Are they gonna... I really don't wanna... Drawing this O-line was maybe the worst draw in my deck because now I can't activate my other dangers. So I guess I send Suchinoko here because I want to get the third dark on the field without risking my O-Lion. So I can curious in case this doesn't work. I wonder what they have. So what, what's the play here? If I want to bait an imperm, does, do I just lose? Because I don't have, I can special summon this O-Lion and then Braver Dragon. Or I can just go straight, I can't go for a Rordon because I have this O-Lion in my hand. So that's a dead play. I can, uh, and I can Curious with Quick Fix on board. I don't, that would put Master Plan in Graveyard, which would get me there. But then I wouldn't have my Ancient Fairy Dragon activation. I think I just want to get to Ancient Fairy Dragon here. Put it over here where it's not blocking link zones. Do they just have nothing? What are they waiting on? Is it, this is a nib? They got something, and I'm wondering what it is. Okay, there's the Imperm. They were holding that for a while. So I've already triggered Nessie here, so I can't do that play. And this is now negated, so I can't O-Lion here. I could... Uh, 
Let's see, I can... I can't... Hmm. I can Link Kribo, Big Red Quick Fix. That wouldn't get me anywhere. I need to save the Big Red for Master Plan here, so I need to discard O-Lion. Now I'm going to Curious for um, Master Plan. Well, that does it. I'm going to leave this token on the board, kind of like hanging out over here for Jetson Crun later. I shouldn't have activated that. I shouldn't have made that token, actually. I don't think it's going to matter, though. So now I just uh, go for Curious via Link Kribo. And I can Big Red Master Plan, yeah. I really, I don't think I should have taken that token, but it's nifty to have on board. I've got two spells in rotation. Uh, I don't care about this drag ravines. I need, to, I just need a clear room, right, so I can summon master plan. So I'm gonna make a big Appaloosa. I'm going to be skipping Aurordon. I'm just gonna be making curious. So I just make Appaloosa. Uh, this is a little awkward, but I, I could still just make Curious, right? Curious and Jet Synchron, and that's fine. That risks milling my Sleeper, though, so can I do this before getting the Sleeper? I can make Borg Blocker, just to clear some zones here. I want to clear specifically this zone, so I can make Herald later. but we're going to get there. Uh, do I have discards for this rescue mission? Yeah, I'm going to be helixing for... Uh, So now I just uh, make Curious. Actually, I could just make Selene, right? Just make Selene here. Now I can get Sleeper out of my deck. I drew the Jet Synchron, which makes it a little awkward. I need to find a way to discard him again. Now we'll add our Super Agent. I'm just going to actually, because I drew this Jet Synchron, I'm just going to curious for a um, rescue mission here. The rescue mission quick fix, I guess. It's a very awkward turn. Very awkward combo. Send a another rescue mission at this point because I can't use Distrito anymore. Like 
I'm not really doing a whole lot at this point. Um, I just need to get Quick Fix into rotation, so we'll rescue Quick Fix. This will give me my uh, big, my uh, last resort at this point. And this resolved. This doesn't really matter, but we'll just use this now. Cool. They can draw as many deep sea divas as they want at this point. I don't really care. Now I just need to make like a really big Apo and a Braver Dragon and call it a day. I'll get this quick fix in the graveyard. One, two. Oops, I did not mean to make a two material Apo, so oh crap. Uh, we will quick fix, discard this Jet Synchron. Meant to make a bigger Appaloosa, and I clicked yes on accident. Get this big red for next turn. Uh, I'm just going to make a Herald of the Arclight. Whatever. One. Two. That can discard. I need, I need to clear more space, so I need to go one, two... and just I need to clear a bunch of space. I meant to use Appaloosa for all this, obviously. That's not going to be what happens here. So this card... Assault mission here, I guess, so I can stack with Drone. a little nervous in my last round here. Uh, you can still draw Deep Sea Diva. I don't really care about that card. Yeah, I should have a much bigger Appaloosa, so if that loses me in the game, I've messed up. We'll put back a, um... We'll put back O-Line, because I still have, a, I still have, a, the freaking <laughs> Aurora on. <laughs> Well, my opponent's deciding what to do here. They're not triggering this? I will 100% negate that.
There's an argument to just using Sleeper to pop two here, but I've got two more negates, so... I should turn my pasta on just in case, though. Like, my fear is, like, Sprite Starter. That's, like, the only thing that really gets me here. I'd rather just negate his once per turns. And then, like, save Sleeper for when he goes for a Zeus play. Oh, we got 12 minutes. They can't stall the entire time we're out, so we're good. I've got Call by the Grave to stop this elf at this point. Oops, I messed up. I'm supposed to do that beforehand. Whoops. Uh. Too late now. I really misplayed this. Oh, that's funny. Uh, does this card do anything? Oh, nope. Okay, that doesn't do anything. out of the way here, because I, I misplayed this. I should have had a 4 material Appaloosa. Otherwise, my board was fine. Anyhow, so you're going to misplay sometimes. We'll see if I make the top cut, and I'll uh, let you guys know at the end of the video, I guess, or I guess coming up next, because you're not going to see the time it takes for the top cut to finish. Anyhow, see you then. <laughs> and here we are. Just to spoil it for you, I guess I did make top cut, but this is going to be the end of this video, because I don't want to have like a five hour video or six hour video or something. This one's already going to be plenty long enough and the, and the top cut's going to be even longer. I might even have to cut that up into smaller chunks than just do an entire second video with all of it in it. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Couple of games I played pretty badly there. A couple of games I played pretty well and uh, all together good enough to make it to the top cut, which was kind of the goal. I just really wanted to top and I got there. Uh, so yeah, here's the deck one last time for your viewing pleasure and uh, stay tuned for the next video. It should be coming up, at, I hope, by tomorrow, right after this video uploads, I just want to get this one up quickly before I pass out from playing all day and not eating and all that good jazz. Anyhow, uh, if you like the video, heck, like the video, throw a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, see you guys next time. Heck, see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.